Welcome to another episode of EJH British Cars. Sorry it's been a while since I posted, but my wife and I went out to Vegas for a few days and it's been raining, so I've been getting some work done. I've been working on the frame, so I've done I'm done with the uh, cleaning the rust off, so I'll show you that. You can see just got uh, phosphoric acid which is iron phosphate. Just redid the sh painted the chassis with that for now, and I'm gonna you know paint it for real later. I also, uh, this was about two inches further back here. I drug that back with a uh, hydraulic ram, just uh, between here. And I went to the front of this cross brace, pulled it up last night. I've been doing some other little bits and pieces. Uh, did a little bit of welding on the nose. Uh, right here that this this edge had been uh, hit a curb or something that was kind of folded back so I straightened it out and uh, just, just welded it a little a little bit to get the uh, the divots full and I also did a patch on the uh, back see right there I don't know if that'll show up but there was a dent in the frame right there so I cut it out with a hole saw flattened it out and welded it back in so today what I'm going to do is, this is the piece that's all pockmarked. I measured, the frame is done with 14 gauge steel, and I couldn't find any 14 gauge, so I got a piece of 8 inch plate. What I'm going to do is uh, basically two pieces, one piece like that, another piece like that. So I'll come back to about here, and this is the worst right here at the joint. So I'm going to, the flange comes in about a half an inch, so I'm going to cut it off here at the edge of the flange. Of course, there'll be a joint at an angle there. And we'll cut it back to here somewhere, wherever it works. I guess it's about to the edge. It's going to be just about right for that. So the first thing to do is to measure this angle and then uh, I use half that angle on the cut. So then I'll flip one piece over and then the two add it together will make this angle and the length of the seam will be the same on both sides. So I've got an adjustable protractor here and we're going to measure that up. So I measured back the 5 eighths. This flange is 5 eighths. I measured back 11 sixteenths. I added a sixteenth for the thickness of the metal in the web there. And just grabbed a straight line here and one there. This is the intersect so that's the center of the angle. And then I'm going to cut this. Um, I think I'm going to use a cutoff wheel at least to get the hole started, and then we may go to a sawzall. All right, we'll see. So don't forget ear protection and eye protection. All right, loud noises. All right, so we got a hole started with the grinder. I'm going to go to the sawzall because it wasn't going very fast. piece. Yeah, I'll show you the inside of the frame. So I was kind of hoping to be painted in here because I think the other ones that I've done are, but it's not. And I need to go a little bit of metal here to grind off. But this is basically flush. I left a little bit of the edge there. And let's see how our pieces fit. Oh, pretty close. I just need to touch the edges off a little bit. And that'll weld in because I need to trim this to length as well. But we'll do that as we go. Well, I'm going to grind for a little while and then we'll get back to you. All right, so ground chamfered the edges a little bit. As you can see this fits pretty well. I do need to cut these to length. So you need to mark that. And I'll have to grind a little bit here and there, particularly this corner because the frame 
rolled in, and this, of course, originally was a straight edge. So a little bit of grinding to do still just to fit, but that's not bad. So I'm going to go mark these and cut them a length, and then we'll get back so to So it seems to have gotten a pretty good fit now. So I'm just going to tack this in at the corner, and then we'll need to start fitting the other piece and make sure this one's going to fit in all the way. So I'm going to do that. So this is the first piece tacked in, and now we need to grind a little bit. That second piece is just a little bit caught in the corner, so I'm going to grind it. All right, I'll clean that up a little bit more. As you can see, I have to use this magnet to keep this from falling down in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tack this in, and then we should be ready to do some wheel welding. tacked in. So you can see I beveled the edges here and all along to help the bead penetrate. So I'm just going to go and weld this up and then we'll let you see it when we're done. So I don't know how well this is going to show on the camera, but you look how thin that metal is right, right in this area and that's where one of those pock marks is and that's why I replaced this. Particularly where it's at that was right here at where this angle is where it's got to be a stress riser. So this is my plates welded and ground in. So the weld is actually over here so these things are just irregularities in the other surface. So it came out pretty good. I'm gonna uh, we can feel just a couple of spots and need a little bit more grinding and then uh, put some of this uh, phosphoric acid on. So I hope you enjoyed that update on the TR2 frame repairs. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you on the next one.